hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is courtney and in today's video we will be setting up my bullet journal for march 2024 now before we get started i just wanted to share the materials i will be using for this setup which are color pencils and these two are prismacolor and i got both from amazon now you guys this might be a longer video because whew, i forgot how long it took to actually color something in with a singular pencil but the theme for march 2024 is a very floral spring but then kind of like psychedelic groovy color pattern so as you guys know the first day of spring is in march i believe it's march 20th i don't know either way the first day of spring is in march and with spring comes being outside things are blooming or things are planted so they can bloom for the summer and i'm ready for the warmer weather because it's been so cold here and i hate it i truly do hate it i have been struggling this entire winter Winter, trying to stay alive and keep the little bit of immunity I have so I am ready for the warm weather I always thrive in the warm weather so I am manifesting warm weather by introducing flowers and colors and spring in this bujo spread so what I did is as you can tell I sketched it out with pencil but I wanted them to kind of fit in like a box so hence why some of them are like an average shape of a flower they're kind of like squishy and like flowy hence why I kind of said it's very groovy or psychedelic because that's the vibe it's giving <laughs> i am so sorry if you guys hear my phone in the background i'm in a group chat with all of the women in my family so this thing is like blowing up yeah so that's the theme for this cover page is a bunch of florals squished together and i did it coming out of a vase but kind of very overgrown and wild and crazy and i think it turned out really 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 pretty one of my favorite spreads so far i must admit and then i go and use my gold metallic paint pen from my february bujo setup please check out that video if you haven't already and i put the title um hello march in the center using that gold and i also made some of the center of the flowers gold as well and i thought it turned out just like very very pretty
Moving on to my monthly goals page. So as you guys can see, it's full of flowers again, but my idea was to kind of have it, have like the middle area where I make my monthly goals surrounded in the background, like the background be flowers. So I took a separate sheet of white um, watercolor paper and I cut into a nice little square rectangular shape and glued it on and then like filled in the flowers around it. So you see me coloring in gold. You barely even see those gold specks, those um, gold centers. I feel like I kind of wasted a little bit of my marker, but it's all good. Either way, I kept it very, very simple. Decide to make the flowers pink and purple, a little bit more brighter and lighter. Now moving on to the calendar page, kept it very simple and took this maroon color and just um, did my little rows for each row of the month and then used my black gel pen to fill it in and my gold metallic paint pen for the days of the week and the numbers. Again, kept it very, very simple. I was able this time to add a little space for my books being read and my YouTube sub tracker at the bottom. I know in February I didn't have it, but this time I was actually able to squeeze it in at the bottom.
Now the easiest page is the gratitude page. I just use the same gold paint pen to write gratitude and then the numbers for each day of the month. And then this is the one time I did use a marker. I used a light pink Tombow brush pen and used it to fill out the rows just because color pencil, that would have been a waste of a color pencil if I actually tried to like fill that out. And I still wanted to have some type of like distinction between each day. So yeah, this is the only time I use a marker. Everything else, I do use my color pencils. Last but not least is my habit tracker, which I love. I think she's so cute. I decided to track, I added on a new habit to track, which I'll go in a little bit later, but I decided to make them like potted plants. So at the bottom in my color pencils, I just drew some little like circular can plant holder. I can't think of it. What is it? Um, planters, the jar, the box. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then coming up from each of them is a string of leaves and each leaf is a day of the week. Well, not a day of the week. Yeah, a day of the week. And I just write it out if I completed it or not. So as you guys know, I started doing habit trackers in February. And I tracked um, me working out and me posting YouTube shorts daily. I decided to add in reading again because I fell off on reading, you guys. I'm not going to hold you. My goal is still to read 24 books. The most I've ever read in one year was, I think, like, 13 14 and mind you all I was doing was working so now that I have a little bit more time I want to incorporate reading more so we're adding reading back on there so that is my third habit that I will be tracking for this month and to track um to write the numbers of the days of the week I again use my gold metallic paint pen All right, you guys, here is the final flip through. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my socials and have a happy March.